What is up guys, Lord Respawn here. Welcome to another Animal Crossing video. So in this video, we're going over how to catch every single fish in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And this is gonna be for both Northern and Southern Hemisphere. So the list I'm gonna show you is gonna include the name, location, shadow size, how much, uh, how many bells each fish is worth, as well as the month and time of day that each of these are going to be catchable. So guys, with that being said, let's jump right into the list. Alright guys, welcome to the list of every single fish in New Horizons. Now, if you want to skip to a certain type of fish, check the description. I'm linking every single type of fish uh, to a certain point in the video, so check that out if you're looking for a certain type of fish. But, let's run through this all. I'm not going to read every single thing on each of these tables, but... I'm going to uh, point out, you know, the, the big ones and what people might want to see. So in this one, these are all pretty basic fish, as you can see. Um, but we've got a picture of the fish, the name, where it can be caught, the size, number of bells, time of day, and time of year and month uh, for each of the different hemispheres. So that's, this is, you know, these are easy fish right there. Jumping into this one, the big call out here is going to be the Ranchu Goldfish. Catching in a pond is going to be that smaller size, 4,500 bells, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. year round. So you can really catch this at any time. Uh, it is rather rare, but it is catchable. The next call out here is going to be the Snapping Turtle. Catch it in the river, extra large in size, 5,000 bells, 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. So it is pretty much all day, all night for the most part. Uh, Northern and Southern Hemisphere, you got April through October, October through April, so flip there, but that is one of the newer fish in the game. On to the next one, we have, let's talk about the giant snakehead, catching the pond, extra large, 5,500 bells, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., so you're really catching it in the middle of the day. On uh, the Northern Hemisphere, June through August, and the Southern, December through February. Next up, let's talk about the tilapia. Brand new fish, amazing fish. Catch it in the river, large in size, 800 bells all day long. And for us Northern Hemisphere people, June through October, Southern Hemisphere, December through April. All right, two call outs here. We got the golden trout and the string fish, both caught on the second or third level river cliff top. Uh, string fish, we've mostly caught in like the beginning, uh, the river pond at the top, but uh, you know, some people have caught it in the, in the main river TBD on, on exactly where to catch it, but 15,000 bells each catch it late in the afternoon, dinner time, and then all throughout the night. And then you can see on the right there, the time of day and season that you can catch these. All right, next up, let's talk about the mitten crab catch in the river. Very small. Not the smallest, but it is small shadow size, 2,000 bells, 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. September through November for Northern Hemisphere, March through May for the Southern Hemisphere. Looking here, we've got the rainbow fish and the piranha, both small in the river, uh, 800 bells and 2,500 bells respectively. And you can pretty much catch these... Uh, you know, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or nine or for the piranha, additionally 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Then you can see there on the right side when you can catch them in the northern and south, southern hemispheres. All right, the big call out here is going to be the Arapaima River. It's going to be the largest size, 10,000 bells, 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. So really, that nighttime fishing, June through September, northern, December through March, southern, and then the Saddle Bircher River. Large shadow, 4,000 bells, 9 p.m. to 4 a.m., June through September in the Northern Hemisphere, December through March in the Southern. I know this one has had some controversy controversy around it, saying that it is catchable in the Northern Hemisphere right now, as in March. That is simply not true. We're going to have to wait until June to catch this. Okay, next up, we got the sturgeon. So the sturgeon is going to go away in March for Northern Hemisphere. Keep that in mind, but you're going to catch this in the river mouth that means where the river meets the ocean. It's going to have the largest shadow, 10,000 bells all day long. You can catch this. I've caught a ton of them. Uh, just an amazing fish. All right, so next up, these are all pretty basic fish, but let's see, Napoleon fish, let's talk about that. C, it's got the largest shadow, 10,000 bells, 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
In the northern hemisphere, we're going to catch it in July and August, and in the southern, you're going to catch it in January and February. So really a tiny window to catch that fish. Another one is a blowfish. Catch it in the sea, it's going to have a medium-sized shadow. 5,000 bells, 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the northern hemisphere, November through February. All right, next up, these are all really basic fish. You can catch almost all of them all day long, except for the anchovy, which you can catch from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m., Very or small shadow, year-round in, uh, in both the northern and southern hemisphere. All right, let's talk about the ribbon eel. C, catch it in the sea, it's going to have a narrow shadow, similar to the eel in previous games. Only 600 bells all day long, June through October in the northern hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, December through April. All right, let's talk about the Mahi Mahi. Catch it in the sea, large shadow, 6,000 bells all day long, May through October. In the Northern Hemisphere, November through April in the Southern. I'm super excited to catch a Mahi Mahi. It is a beautiful fish. I'm going to have a ton of them in my house and on my beaches uh, and just around my island. I, I just absolutely love the Mahi Mahi. Also, you can see how to catch the tuna, blue marlin, and ocean sunfish, as well as the giant trevally, all on this uh, exact table. And second to last, so we got the ray, saw shark, hammerhead, great white, whale shark. These are all going to be very high ticket items. The ray, only 3,000, but the rest of these are very, very popular. Most of them are going to be caught in the summer months. You can see on the right-hand side when to exactly catch them. Most of them are going to have the largest shadow with a fin, so keep that in mind, uh, but just awesome, awesome fish to catch. And lastly, so we got the sucker fish, 1,500 bells all day long, June through September, northern, December through March, southern, or fish, that's a big one that a lot of people have been asking about, largest shadow, 9,000 bells all day long, December through May, northern, June through November, southern. Barrel eye, another fish that a lot of people have been asking about. You can catch it any time of year. It's going to have a small shadow, 15,000 bells, 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. So it's going to be a late night fish, but it is extremely rare. I've only caught one of them, and I've been fishing quite a bit. Uh, and then lastly, we got the coelacanth. It's going to be only on rainy days, caught in the sea, largest shadow, 15,000 bells, any time of day, any time of year, but it has to be raining. Now, this used to be the rarest fish in the game in Animal Crossing. Previously, but uh, myself and some of my friends have caught a ton of them uh, on rainy days, so maybe they're not as rare as they used to be. Who knows? Uh, but we will, you know, we will see what the actual rarest fish in the game is as people play more. Right now, I think it's a barrel eye, but we'll see. So, guys, hopefully, this video helps you out. Let me know in the comments what fish are you having difficulty finding? Uh, what's your favorite fish in the game? Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe more. Animal Crossing New Horizons content on the way. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later!